In this video, I'm gonna show you how Notion's brand new AI meeting notes feature works and answer the question, should you replace your go-to AI note taker like Otter or Fathom with this? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Sam and I am a Notion Solutions partner and I've helped over 70 agencies implement systems for growth. So how does Notion's AI meeting notes work? Well, unlike other tools, Notion's AI meeting notes is actually just a block inside of Notion. So you can see inside of this single page, like any other blog, if I do the slash command, I can now see in the suggested I've got AI meeting notes. And when I click this, it's going to bring up the AI meeting notes block, which looks something like this. And the basic function of this block is once you join your meeting, you can go ahead and choose this um, start button. And when you do, the AI meeting block will start recording your actual meeting and everyone else inside of your meeting. And then once you finish, you can hit stop and it's going to create a summary. So as an example, this is one I did earlier. So you can see we get the overall summary from the recording. We also get an entire transcript of that recording as well. And then also we have the option to add any of our own notes, whether that's as an agenda before the meeting or during the actual meeting itself. So that's a quick overview. Now let's go step by step in actually using AI notes. So I just used the slash command to get the block up, but there are actually a couple other ways we can get it to come up as well. The first way is at the bottom of any uh, empty page, we have this meet option, and then that would create the block itself. We also have a universal keyboard shortcut. So let's say I'm just here on my browser and I wanna create a quick AI meeting block. I can do shift command Y, and that's gonna open up Notion and create one for me here. And then the final way to pull up the AI note taker and probably the one everyone's most excited by is if you're using Zoom for your calls, once you start a meeting and eventually you connect and open up the actual meeting itself, Notion will then send you a notification prompting you to create a new AI meeting note block and then you can go in and start recording your meeting. So once you've brought your meeting block up, the next thing that needs to happen is for you to give consent to the people on the call that you're about to record them. And again, Notion gives us a couple ways to do this. So the first way we have is you can see here, we have always get consent from participants and then we have this copy and it says copy consent message. So I can click that to copy it. And then in my call itself, I can come to this chat option and just paste this consent message within the chat to let everyone know that I'm going to be recording. The second way is to actually use this play audio consent message option. And this will play the audio through your uh, computer speaker. So hopefully everyone on the call can hear it. So I'll just play it now and see if you can hear it. I'm using Notion AI to transcribe this meeting and generate notes. So as you can tell, it's nice and loud. I think it should work on calls. And by clicking these three dots here, you also have the option to change the voice for the consent for whatever language you're using. Once you've got consent, of course, you can then hit the confirm consent button. And that's what's actually going to start the actual meeting recording itself. And then as you can see, as I'm talking, I can see the waveform showing me that this is actually recording. And at any point, I could also choose to stop and summarize this. Within this, something I needed to do myself as well was come to these three dots and make sure that this was using the correct mic. So if you are using an external mic and not just your default um, laptop or computer mic, you wanna change that over as well. During the meeting itself, as I mentioned earlier, we have this note section. So you can actually create any of your own free form notes as you're going along in the meeting. And this section works like any other section inside of Notion. So you can format whatever you like. So for example, you can add call outs, you can add headings, anything you want to do in terms of formatting the actual notes themselves. And any notes that you do take inside of this section will also be included in the overall summary at the end. You can also choose to pause the recording if there's sections of your call that you don't want to be recorded. So you'll come to these three dots here and you can choose pause transcription. And as you can see, it's gonna show that it's paused and you can just choose the resume option once you're ready to start it up again. So once you are ready to stop the recording, you'll need to hit stop. And then this is going to summarize it. And as you can see, we're in the summary section now and AI basically shows you that it's thinking and shows you all the things that it's doing as it's thinking. And now, as you can see, we have a full summary of this meeting. Obviously, I was just talking to you over the camera, so it probably doesn't make that much sense but it tends to split things off into sections. And in some cases you'll get action items as well. And then in addition to the summary, we now also have a full transcript of this meeting 
with these summaries and transcripts, they're also completely editable and customizable. So if there's something that you don't like, you can come in here and remove it. You can add your own things. And again, you can use any of the classic formatting that we have inside of Notion. And this can be done for summary. And the same is true of the transcripts as well. You can add anything to this transcript if anything was missed or you want to add anything that wasn't recorded. A few extra things to note at this point. If you are using dictation inside of Notion at any point, this has replaced that feature. AI Meeting Notes is currently also a paid feature. And a few things we can expect to be coming out soon. First of all, some more just-in-time notifications like we had with Zoom that we can use with other cool uh, conference apps like Google Meets. And secondly, a full calendar workflow that works inside of Notion Calendar. We don't know exactly what that means yet, but it does sound exciting. So now let's talk about how this compares to other AI note takers, and in particular, the one that I was using before this, which was Fathom. So Fathom is an app that I have on my laptop here, as you can see. And when I go into my Google Meets, which it's, it's connected for, whenever I create a new meeting, Fathom will then usually detect that it's a meeting and a notification will come up like this one, which says start recording. Sometimes it will also uh, join automatically and start recording, but I can come up here and hit start recording. And then in some cases you can see we have the Fathom note taker being asked to be admitted into the actual meeting itself. So I hit admit and then Fathom actually joins the meeting as a participant. So everyone in the meeting can see that there is an AI note taker in the room. And in some cases, we can also have a message be broadcasted to everyone that this meeting is being recorded. Once I go ahead and end the meeting, Fathom behind the scenes will then automatically stop the recording and then send all of the details into the Fathom app. So as you can see here, we get a video recording of the meeting itself. We get a full summary like we do with AI notes in Notion. We get a transcript and as part of the transcript, we can see who said what. And then a feature I also really like is if I look through this transcript and want to jump to a particular point, I can click it from here, for example, like this. And then that's actually gonna to jump to that part of the video and I can continue watching it. So based on that, here are some of the main advantages I see using Fathom over Notion's AI meeting notes. First of all, as you saw, it takes a video recording and for more lengthy in detail calls, like some of my implementation calls, that can be really handy to actually watch the meeting itself again. I also like to send Fathom recordings to my clients so they can review it. And I just think it's a nice experience for them to see it as a recording itself. Fathom also automatically joins the call. And in some cases, there's actually no need to ask for consent because you have the voice, automated voice uh, announcing itself out loud. And so you don't have to click anything or start or stop any buttons. And finally, because Fathom is actually inside of the meeting itself, it's able to identify the different participants. And so it's able to be very accurate about who said what inside of the transcript, as well as inside of the summary. Notion is able to do this in some of its summaries. So for example, in this particular one, you can see in the wins section, it's identifying who Jessica, Simon and John are. And that is purely based off the actual people saying each other's names. But of course, this wouldn't be as reliable as something like Fathom that connects into the meeting. That being said, here are some of the advantages that Notion has over tools like Fathom. So the first advantage and the biggest one for me is that obviously it works inside of Notion already. And so that means it can live inside of Notion. And if I want to bring my meeting recordings into Notion, I don't have to go somewhere else, link to it and then bring it into Notion. The AI meeting block also allows you to create freehand notes during the meeting itself alongside the actual recording, which I think is handy. You're able to edit the summary itself, which you're not able to do in Fathom. You may be able to do in other tools, but being able to edit that summary is really helpful because sometimes obviously the AI doesn't get it completely right. And so if you do want to present this to a client, it's really helpful to be able to customize it for, your, for yourself. And although I said it was an advantage that Fathom actually joins the meeting automatically, and in some cases doesn't need for you to manually press uh, start and stop. In some cases, this means that I have to wait for the record to join and there's a level of uncertainty if it's going to join or if I've forgotten about it. And then in some cases, I've actually forgotten to record my meetings. So we could say it's actually an advantage with Notion that you have to manually start and stop it as you have complete certainty that rec the recording has actually started 
and you know that you're good to go. I haven't tested this for myself, but obviously because Notion isn't actually plugging into a video call software itself, you might also be able to use this for in-person meetings. As long as everyone's sitting close to your laptop and can be heard, or if you have a good mic, then I see no reason why this wouldn't be able to use, be used for in-person meetings. So now let's talk about how I've started using Notion AI meeting notes inside of my own workflows. So the first thing I did when I got this block was I came to my notes database and I came to my meeting templates. So for example, my client meeting template, and I edited this and I dropped this AI block inside of the uh, meeting template. As you can also see, what I've done in the notes section is I've added a section for agenda that I would add before the meeting. Then I have a section for notes. And then finally, I also have my task section with a link to my task database. And this is the typical format that I've had for all of my meeting note templates. But now I can use the actual AI block to create the transcripts and the summary and to capture the notes. So before the meeting itself, what I would typically do is come and grab a new client meeting template. And obviously I could rename this to whatever is suitable. And then inside of the actual block itself, I would go ahead and add the agenda items. Then I would jump on the call, obviously confirm consent. And then during the call itself, I also like to take some free hand notes myself of anything that I think is particularly important or something that I'm thinking about that I haven't actually said out loud. Then obviously once I've finished the meeting, I would pause this meeting note and get the summary and transcript. And I'd go, to go ahead and review them and customize them if is needed. As you saw in an earlier uh, use case of this, for some of our summaries, we also get at the bottom some helpful action items. And so where this is the case, this is why inside of this um, uh, meeting database template, I've got this task section with a linked view of my task database. Because what I can do is for any of those action items that have been generated automatically, I can obviously edit them as they're needed. And then I can drag and actually drop these into my task database. And now, as you can see, if I load more, these have been added as tasks directly in my database. And now I can give them a due date and a signee and send them off to everyone. Now, in some cases, if I did want there to be an actual video recording of the meeting, if I'm using Zoom, I'll just use their no native recording feature. And then once I get that recording, what I can do is then in the transcripts or in the notes, wherever I like, but for this use case, I put it in the transcript. I can just embed this as a block inside of the transcript. So now we can also still have a video connected to it. It's a bit more manual, but for my uh, needs, I don't always need a recording. And so I'm happy to have this additional manual step if I do want to include a recording. What's great about this is now it's already inside of here. I can very easily come and attach this to whatever client project I have inside of Notion. If I wanted to share this to the client with a client, I could either publish it to the web or I could invite them on as a guest to this page. Or if you're using Softer as I do for client portals, I can go ahead and send this to Softer so it's inside of the client's client portal um, where everything else lives. So here's time for my final verdict. Will I be switching over? Personally, yes, I'm going to switch. For me, the ability to have everything live inside of Notion and actually be able to prep my notes inside of the same block and then have them in, organized within my client projects and then actually on the call, do the recording and the summary and the transcript on that same page is just very, very helpful. If I need a video, as I showed, I'll just use the native options inside of Zoom or Google Meets and then embed them inside of the page itself. And of course, once I have it inside of Notion, it's a lot easier for me to start sharing it inside of client portals that I've made with Notion or Softer. If you're interested in creating a client portal using Notion, you should check out this video here or here. And down below in the comments, let me know if you think you're going to start using Notion's AI meeting notes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.